Hello, my name is Minx, and today we're going to be going through getting a copy of the uh, Game Save Editor and utilizing it. So, um, I'm on my GitHub link already, which link will be in the description as well as on the Steam Guide if you're coming from there. What you want to do is, if you go directly to the link, you should open to this. But uh, if you go directly to the GitHub page, just hang uh, right over to Releases, and the V1.1 is the one you want. Hit the LCSM v11 point zip or dot zip. Once it's downloaded, let's go in here. And you can put this wherever you want. Um, I'm going to, it's kind of a lot of DLL files in here. So I'm going to copy these. I'm going to do a, a new folder on my desktop. And I'll just put a, a LCSM and paste. Security scan, yeah, it's whatever. Um, so if we open this up here, there shouldn't be anything crazy going on. Yeah, it's just the L. So if we open this up, since this is uh, well, unknown uh, for me, I'm not a publisher, I'm going to run anyway. I trust myself. So we can see I downloaded that straight from there. It doesn't come with any save files. It's picked up backups and saves all automatically. So I'm going to delete all the backups. That's because it uses the same one, if the, uh, same directory as my testing uh, suite. So when you run it, it'll automatically create a backup folder inside your local data folder. Um, so if I pull this up and do percent local app data percent, it would pop it up in here. I think it's under LCSM. I don't remember anymore. Here it is, yep. Game backups, and it would pop in here with some game backups. So we can actually look at this, close out of the zip file here, and we'll back up one twice. Here we go two twice oops i loaded i accidentally loaded one over two that's okay um we'll uh, back up three twice so two and one will be the same thing unfortunately we'll actually mess with two to make it different than one so um if we go back to let's see so we're at zero here so zero and one are from one so we'll hit edit we've got two thousand coins here what we can do is we'll leave this one as two thousand and we'll set the uh there we go um we'll set the Second one to we'll say twenty thousand. Confirm. Okay, and then we'll what we'll do is we'll go into save two and we'll load the selected backup. So now save one has whatever this one has uh, two thousand. Save two has whatever this one has, which is twenty thousand. And then save three, which is the last two, has fifteen hundred. Okay. So that's how this works. Um, the security features that it has, which we've just kind of looked at most of them, um, is you don't mess with the saves themselves, you mess with the backups. This way, if you break a backup, your save isn't screwed up, at least if you've backed it up properly. Um, I recommend two backups of each. That way you can mess with one and have an extra of the other. Um, then if you were to try and edit something and then swap it over to something else, it's going to tell you to confirm it. That way you don't break anything. Same thing for closing. If I edit it and then I close it, it's going to say, are you sure you'd like to quit? No, well, let me confirm. Now, if you, oops, I just deleted it, whatever. Um, if you edit and then you try and close out and hit yes, it's not going to break anything. It's going to save the backup as it's currently written. Um, so no issues there, really. Um, so that's good. So that's really it. That's how you use it. Um, I'm not going to go through how to build from source. If you know how to Download the source and build it from source. Awesome. If not, and you want to do it, go look up a tutorial. That's not what I'm here for today. Thank you for watching and have a good one.